all right, I'm going to have my whole life in this van, so I don't want anything stolen. So I'm going to put up some window screens. For this, I have work gloves, drilling bits, hex attachments, self-tapping screws, and a marker. And I'm also wearing some goggles so I don't get metal shavings in my eye. So here's how it'll look when you're uh, all done. It'll be pretty sturdy. You got your self-tapping screws in there. Um, some of them were actually a little... I need a little extra length because the screen didn't fit in perfectly. It's made for this van, but it, they just don't fit in perfectly. Um, so you might need a little extra length to reach the, uh, to actually get through and grab the, uh, the metal. I actually also needed a couple different, uh, hex attachment sizes because the heads on my self-tapping screws were a little different. Um, cause they didn't come from the same place. I wasn't going to get the same size. So first we got to mark this thing. So throw it into place, really squeeze it in there. It doesn't like to go in all the way. Um, and then get a marker and mark it up. Try to aim right for the middle. Be Have your marker go straight. Don't be at an angle or else your hole is going to be in the wrong place. And that goes doubly so for the ones that there's a little bit of a gap. Because if you're a little off on the entry, you're going to be even farther off when you get to the actual hole. So when you drill your pilot holes, and you really want to drill your pilot holes because it'll make a lot of things easier, you want to remember a couple things. One, you want to drill straight into it, um, not even a little off, because if you're a little off, it'll drift like mine's doing right here, and then your holes will be in the wrong spot. Um, and also, you want to go really slow with a lot of pressure. And if you don't do that, you'll heat up your drill bit and ruin it. Let's go ahead and fast forward and drill all these pilot holes. Also, you really got to remember that if you are not drilling straight into it and you're using a lot of pressure, that's torque and that's going to snap your bit. You really don't want that to happen. It's happened to me in the past and then you're down a bit. So once I'm done with the pilot holes, we can switch attachments and get, get onto the... Uh, actual self-tapping screws and installing the uh, window screen. So you want to throw the screen in again really tight, make sure you're in the right spots and uh, go ahead and drill them in nice and slow. Uh, if you don't go slow you might actually strip um, the wall and then your screw heads will spin and you don't want that. That means that they might come out eventually, it's not really a good sign. For that reason, I'd actually, going back, I would probably use some plus nuts or riv nuts to really lock them in. It's a little bit of a hassle, but it's, it's necessary in some cases. I'm just going to leave it like this, though, because there's enough attachment points that it's going to stay in. If one screw does come out, I'll put another one in later, maybe a bigger one, and that'll create a new hole, and it'll be good to go. In the future, if these things start rattling out, I might throw in some uh, lock washers to give them that extra little grip that they might need. So for some of these spots, you'll notice that where you're drilling through is actually kind of close to the outer wall, and you really don't want to drill through the outer wall because then you have an extra hole. Um, it's unlikely to happen because you can feel when you hit another wall that's not air. Um, at that point, just stop and you'll be good to go. One quick tip is to actually, instead of going around in a circle, installing them in order, bounce around. It'll make the whole thing a little more even. For the ones up top, you're going to need to put a little extra oomph in it because you're not going to have gravity on your side anymore. It's not really an issue unless you're pretty short. Then you got to go grab a stool and all that, and then you have other uh, problems to deal with. So you can see on this one there's a little bit of a gap, so I had to grab a little longer self-tapping screw. These are uh, an inch and a half. So that's it. When you're done, check them. Make sure they're uh, nice and sturdy and you're good to go.